in the movies when the uh, or TV when there's something going on, some big event in the world, yeah. they, they oh, somebody will always say, "Wake the president." Yeah. And then somebody has to wake the president. Right. Does that happen? First of all. Well, first of all, I have a phone right by my bedside. Yes. And every morning, somebody calls and says, "Mr. President, it's your 7 a.m. wake-up call," and I pick it up. Right. And it works just like a phone. Yeah, that's it. So that's... nobody pokes his head in and like, no. uh, hopefully you're covered up or whatever when it no. it happens. Okay. No. So the uh, look, uh, th there have been maybe three or four instances where you do get a call in the middle of the night. So for example, when the uh, typhoon hit Japan, Fukushima. Right. Right. And you're not sure what exactly is going to be happening. It's the other side of the world, so it's the middle of the night, and we had to deploy our experts and our military to make sure that uh, you know, any potential nuclear disaster was contained and we helped the Japanese. So things like that will happen every once in a while. But, but for the most part... Uh, they let you sleep. For the most part, they let me sleep. Usually, uh, the real serious problems that come up uh, are ones that we've anticipated, we can kind of see coming. Do you hate uh, but the let me knock on wood because I've only got two or three months left. Right. So I don't want to. Uh, that, <laughs> that person you have, to, you have to you have to be ready uh, if something happens. Right. You have to be yeah. ready. And you. But as I've mentioned before, what I don't do is like at 3 a.m. I don't tweet about. You don't tweet in the morning. People who insulted me. Well, <laughs> I try to sleep so that in the morning when I'm actually watch, ready for crises. When you watch crises. the debate. Thanks for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?